In April 2005, a small pond in Hamburg, Germany became the center of a great mystery, rather repulsive in nature. A documentary film made on the phenomenon reported, about 1,000 dead toads were discovered lying around the edges. Their bodies appeared to have exploded. Eyewitnesses said they swelled up to about three and a half times their normal size and then simply burst. And they burst with such an explosive force that their entrails were blown over several square meters. For several weeks, the common European toads in question received international attention. Scientists were totally baffled, unable to provide an explanation for the unnatural deaths. Health officials panicked, they suspected a virus spread by South American race horses from a nearby track. The tabloid press had a field day with a story, labeling the area the bond of death. Things got worse when the epidemic spread across the border to a nearby Danish lake. All the speculation was finally put to rest when Frank Muchman, one of Germany's top experts on amphibians, cracked the case. And the explanation was even more shocking than the toad's violent deaths. The massacre was, apparently, the work of a highly intelligent species of crows. Frank examined both living and dead specimens of the Hamburg toads. What he found was truly chilling, identical circular incisions on their backs, just the size of a bird's beak. He also figured out that all the amphibians had their livers missing. There were no bite or scratch marks, so we knew the toads weren't being attacked by a raccoon or a rat, which would have also eaten the entire toad, Frank said. It was clearly the work of crows, which are clever enough to know the toad's skin is toxic and realize the liver is the only part worth eating.